Yo, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel for today's video. I, I, did you, I, you see this? Do you see this? This is the last piece needed to drive this thing and break. You know what I mean? We almost there. Yo, Zosh, we almost there, bro. Percy, I know, bro. We almost there, dog. I know. Huge, huge thank you to everyone over at Wildworks for getting me this kit. We may be a couple weeks late, but hey, we got this bad boy up here. Now, the reason why I wanted to go with the Wildworks brake tuck kit is because you don't need to cut or flare anything. This is honestly and truthfully, unbiasedly, the best brake tuck kit on the market because you don't need to cut anything. The only thing you have to do is drill um, through your uh, wheel well so it, your lines can run through the cabin because this is a tuck kit. So this will be tucked inside uh, the cabin underneath the dashboard. But you don't have to flare nor cut anything. So that is the beauty of this kit. Now let's get this bad boy unfolded out and see exactly what, what goes to where. Oh God, I'm so excited bro. I'm just so, so excited. Okay, so this is my entire brake tuck kit laid out and guess what? Yep, you guess it. I have no idea what goes to what, none of that. But uh, we will figure that out, I hope. I really don't know what I'm looking at, to be honest. I know these two have to be the rear, because these are the longest ones. These are the front. The front, easy. I feel like this comes down, and then it goes into the wheel well. I mean, you uh, uh, drill a hole through the uh, wheel well thing side of things, and then that. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I hope I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, there needs to be a tutorial on this. Or some instructions. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so these two, like I said, are the rear. So what I'm gonna do is run the rears first. Well, I guess mock up and see exactly what all I have to do. Thank God I still got the car jacked up in the air for me to do everything, but as far as filming wise, I don't know how this is supposed to play out because, I mean, I'm in the garage, it's dark, uh, my camera's uh, well, it's like pointing towards the light, so it's going to be silhouetting everything, which sucks. I, I can't even put on a time lapse because you won't see anything. But, uh, well, I guess I'll just like mock it up and then film to the next clip or something. I don't know. I act like this is my first week of vlogging. I've been messing up. I can't vlog a clip. What's going on with me, man? What's going on? So after a quick 45 minute phone call, which should have been like 12 minutes, <laughs> to uh, Mark from out of street garage, we, um, he helped me out a little bit. So this is how it goes. The flare inch comes down here and it wraps around there. And then the end of this line goes into the grommet of where your e-brake cable is. So basically to run, this runs in, inside the uh, cabin. So when I, show you, when I get underneath, I'll show you guys exactly where it goes. But I got this side pretty much done. And I got this side pretty much done as well. Well, I got them tightened up, not done. And then uh, where did they go? Where did I put those things? No, they're not over there. These two uh, lines right here goes to the uh, brake master because this banjo bolt fitting thing goes on top of the master. It goes to that one right there with the banjo bolt and then this one directly threads into that side. But I don't know how that's going to directly thread in there because that's a straight and I don't have room right there. So I'd have to figure out how exactly I'm going to do that. And then these black fittings you see right here, these black fittings actually go into the firewall. So that's what is going down. I know for damn well I'm not um, completing this brake tuck kit today. But, well, in today's video, well, not today's video, but yeah, in today in general. But I will get as far as I can until I run into a brick wall. So let's keep up the momentum and get these... Uh, brake line, well rear brake lines attached and inside the cabin harness. And Mark did tell me that I might have to remove the dash, which I don't want to do, but yep. You might not have to cut or flare, but you sure as hell gonna have to remove the dash. All right, fellas, uh, so I got this brake line ran through the uh, e-brake. So this is basically what you do. I had to drop my exhaust, take off this heat shield right here. Uh, and uh, oh, you guys can't even see it, but take off this heat shield and uh, pull that the grommet and then just run them through there. I kind of scraped the line really bad on the inside, so that I'm not too happy about that. But yep, yeah, this is how I ran factory list stuff. I mean, this would 
tuck up more. It's supposed to go in that thing over there, that grommet you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, what? Where'd it go? Where? What? There? There we go. That little silver thing right there with those two lines. But oh well, the rear is done. So now the front, which I'm dreading to do, but oh, let's do. Something like this. I got uh, basically the two line up run like that. I really don't like it. I think it looks kind of tacky, but hey man, it's gonna work. I have no choice but to make it work. So that's what I gotta do. I just gotta figure out where exactly I'm going to drill the holes, and then once I drill the holes, that's it. Use my prop valve that's over there, and uh, I think we're gonna be almost done. It's just not that hard, really. Just gotta go find a banjo bolt, um, and yeah, that's it. Good morning, everybody. Back at it. Brake tug. Uh, Randy and Maya is over. We had got the dash out because you need to, so you can see exactly where you're drilling and all that fugaze, fuga stuff. But um, yeah, now I don't have a drill right now. So, but everything is ran. I got the front brake lines ran. I got the stuff on the master ran. Only thing I have to do now is just um, what you gonna call it? Uh, oh. Drill and run the prop valve here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere right there. So you don't need this shit, you can take the shot. I don't have the star bit thing. You need like, it's like a torque bit. T20 something, yeah. I have it home. Yeah, we gotta go there anyway. I gotta get a drill bit. And drill. And then, yeah, drill the holes here. And then we gotta bleed. And that's it. But, good thing my dashboard is quick release. So, I think where you be trying to drill, it would be perfect. It all depends where. All right. So we acquired drill, I uh, found my drill bits. Well, I didn't find, I knew where it was at. But uh, here we are, Randy's gonna send it. You gonna send it, bro? No, you sending it. Nah, come on, man, I trust you, bro. Go ahead, send that shit. Did you brush your teeth? I did, you saw me. That shit stink. I know, man. <sighs> Stop. <laughs> So moving right along, we have one side done. And this is how it's gonna be. It's just all securely tightened to the uh, firewall chassis. I just gotta get a clip for this, cause that's too big. But that's it, this side's pretty much done. Now, gotta get stainless steel brake line when I get some nice brakes, cause these gotta go. But for now, that'll work. But yep, that's it. Look, now we're gonna start on the driver's side, boy. Randy taking off the suspension. Uh, fork and the uh, up top itself, the uh, strut. Quick update again. Uh, damn, you can't even see it, but that side is ran. That side is ran. You guys can't see it, but they're ran, and that one's gonna be a pain. So when you order this kit, when you gotta remove your dash, you're gonna have to remove a lot more stuff, okay? It, it, it's kind of, huh? Uh, right here? Nothing. Is it flat? Yep. Perfectly flat right foot. Uh, right lower, like a half inch down. Oh, there's a, there's a, you see the indent? There's an indent. Yeah. Yeah, right there. That's perfect. Yeah, right there is perfect. All right. Uh, but you gotta make sure, like, it, it, it the, the, um, when you, the, not that they reach, but they don't interfere with each other. I know. All right, like they don't ta they don't hit each other while you're trying to tighten it up. Look. I can't see, bitch. Oh goddamn! Hold on. But yeah, yeah, I see what's going on. The kit, it, it's not a bad kit to do. It, it's not that long to do anyway. It's probably like a three-hour job tops, three, four-hour job if you want to do it right. So we can't put it here because if you put it here, because this one can't go exactly above because it's not that long. So I'm about to move over. Yeah, right there is a flat surface. Right there too. Yeah, it's flat. It's all, when where, you hit, where was that indent? Indent's right here. And then when you hit, you hit. No, right there's there. a no, there's an indent, a small little indent. 
like it looks like a bolt indent. Right here. Oh shit, that is it. Yeah, I think that is it. But this long one, this one is, can go perfect right there. But this one can go right there. Yeah, like it's not that long enough. But put it right here. You can have them diagonal. Like you don't have to be exactly uh, straight up. It look better if it's straight up. So you gotta do it like that then. One there and then one there. Okay. All right, put the tape down. Let's go to work. So it's like right in particular to that one. Yeah, like a quarter. Like right there. Half an inch. So, like I was saying, this side is done. There you go, this is the passenger side. Uh, let's go to the driver's side. And the driver's side is done. I don't like how that looks with all like... Man, Randy's first time doing a brake kit like this and I think it looks fantastic and you don't even see it anyway, so I think we're Gucci taters. So we go all good, playboy. Now we're marking up the thing, which you should do when you're about to cut into your firewall so you don't like mess up any paint. You wanna use tape, so like it, I don't know, it just works, I guess. And we're gonna use a Christmas uh, drill bit. And yeah, go to work. That ain't doing a goddamn thing. Super facts. Making progress, more progress. So, rear lines, like I told you, have already been ran. We finally got the front two from the booster in. And this is how my prop valve is sitting as of now because, oh look, it stands up by itself. Lady Diddy, bro. And um, yeah, that's just how it's gonna be, dog. Man, I got a brake tuck kit in my car, bro. What is going on? Who am I? My car is actually looking like an actual car. An actual build. It only took me five years, but, well, I'm here. Thank you for joining. Looks like this junk gonna be standing still, playboy. Have my junk floating, boy. Like schoolboy Q. Floating, floating on the floor. The car is officially wrapped up for the brake tuck. Uh, I bled everything. I didn't want to film it because it's boring. We just uh, we bench bled the master first. Ran into an issue where I had to go out and buy a new banjo bolt because this I used the line that's already have a banjo on it, and this is the correct banjo I had to run. So what I did was just go to O'Reilly and buy a better, uh, not better, but like uh, M10 by 1.0 by 20 millimeters, and it worked. It came with washers and everything, and everything worked. I didn't film it because it was just, I don't know, I think it'd be stupid. But this is how it's running like that. I mean, it's not the very best tough thing you'll see, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Don't mind the, the, uh, uh what's it called? This is called the, what is this called again? Throttle cable, don't mind this. I think I might just reroute it, like route it underneath the hose so you could just have that be clean. Cause it'll go, once it's going to this hole like that, once I get a better bolt, it's gonna be like that. But I think I'm gonna just wrap, Take out the auto cable from this side and run this underneath it and have it come up because I think that'd be pretty cool and neat. But um, yeah, that's all it. Every side is done. Um, just I gotta take out this axle and replace the boot because it got a tear in it and I don't want to drive and have all that stuff hitting the back of the firewall and everything. But yeah, man, brake tuck is done. Huge thank you to Wireworks for being dope enough to make a kit so easy. Like it really took us a total of like two and a half, three hours. We had to go on on and off the road. But it's not hard to do. Like, I did the rears by myself. The fronts, when it came to drilling, I didn't have a drill, but I'm pretty sure I could have did it myself too. But kind of not really. You need, it's a definitely a two person job because somebody has to be on the inside holding the, uh, the, uh, the nut while, <laughs> while you uh, tighten it from the outside. So it's, it's a two person job for sure. Uh, level of difficulty, I'll rate it as a, um, about a four or five out of ten. It's not too hard. You just gotta take your time with it and make it how you want it. Mine's just mocked up how I want it, you know. And you have to use a 4040 prop valve as well from the EG and Integra RSs and stuff like that. But all in all, this is a finished, finished video. We finally got brakes. The car is ready to start. Uh, it's ready to drive. I just gotta get a uh, valve adjustment, which will be happening soon. Once you guys watch this video, the car has already started, but. Today is Friday, and that's, I'm filming this uh, Thursday and Friday, but that's it, man. Car's done. Crustina is done. And she looks amazing. She looks, it's kind of a cluster mess of wires right here. Well, that's it, baby. I gotta do my vacuum line, though, and, well, I'm not really, I don't care about this. 
I'll probably do it. Nah, I don't really care about that. You know, nah, blah, blah. So if you guys are in the market for a brake tuck kit, I highly recommend the Wireworks kit. It's pretty simple. You don't gotta cut nor flare anything. So Wireworks is definitely the best. They're killing it. They're just killing it. And yeah, man, link down below to the information to why it works. If you want to get a harness, conversion harness, ground kit, anything case swap related, B series, D series, H series, all that, you know, link down below. And that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gone. Peace.